Hey Gemini, welcome to your tarot session. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to dive right into your tarot reading. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, join the family. You have a reading coming out every week, of course. So yeah, make sure to not miss out. Let's start by picking the general energy for your reading. In the present moment, what is Gemini's energy as they are listening, receiving this channeling? Gemini. Okay, Six of Pentacles. Is there something else? Something gets unstuck for you. Oh yeah, Two of Cups. Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So, finally, something makes sense. This is what's coming up. It's like, finally, this makes sense. Finally, I feel unstuck. I feel like I'm being seen. I'm being heard. Okay, this is actually real. And the Two of Cups is the soulmate in the mirror. It's also the first sprout, clear sprout of an Ace of Cups. It's the expansion of the Ace of Cups. There's an offer of love that someone received. It's not just about romance or soulmates. It can be, but it's not just about that. Love is a big word. What do you love? What makes your heart sing? It's all valid. Because there's something here, some type of a karmic relief, again, because you're getting unstuck around an area of your life that's been very, very tricky. Something that you love, something that you want, it could, it could feel like a basic need, like a fundamental need for you. And now those needs are being met. And there's expansion. And it's like someone is seeing you truly for the first time. Seeing your value. Oh yeah, this is it. This is about someone seeing your value. They're seeing beyond the facade, beyond the looks, beyond what you show on social media. Or again, this facade, because not everyone is on social media, of course. There's something here about seeing beyond what's obvious. Oh yeah, the world, look at that. You know, anytime there's a naked person on any cards, you know that it goes deeper. You know that, again, someone is seeing beyond the facade. Someone is moving through a very, very important cycle with the world card. This is about never looking back, Gemini. You settled for less in the past. And you were definitely challenged. There was a lot of unfair situation where it feels like someone was giving you just enough so you stayed. Just enough so you stayed attached or you kept on showing up. Gemini is very loyal. And I, I don't know why you don't get more credit for that. Geminis are incredibly loyal. But Gemini can believe multiple truth at once. So... Even if you know someone isn't seeing your full value, you can know that truth, but you can also follow the truth of your heart and still do the work and still be present. So it's the end of confusion for you, really. And for, for some reason, I feel like there's a little risk here. Oh, yeah. Okay. The, look at that. The moon and the ace of pentacles flew out. And I felt like there was something about a, a risk. This is it. The moon card can be a risk because it's like we're doing something and we don't know what the outcome is going to be. We're fully surrendering to uncertainty. It's not easy to do that. And also there's always dogs and animals here. Um, the lobster, which the lobster is so old. We're talking about energies that were at work way before you were born. We're talking about mysteries of your own life and not knowing why. 
why did all of this happen? Why was I treated a certain way? Why was it so hard for me? Or why is it that way? I think that there's so many questions coming up with the moon card. And we have the dogs again, like kind of our primal instinct. But there's the need to control. There's the need to trust. Okay. And with the ace of pentacles. It has your name on it, Gemini. The Ace of Pentacles has your name on it. Whatever gift, whatever new beginning. And notice how we have the ultimate ending, the world card, and a new beginning here with the Ace of Pentacles. There's a full cycle moment. I didn't lost anything. I found myself or I found this person or I found this opportunity this job this relationship i don't know what it is for you individually it's none of my business but the ace of pentacles has your name on it this is loud and clear for me and that's one of your superpowers you know the power of your mind again believing multiple truth at once i might not know where this is going to lead me, where this risk, quote unquote, risk is going to take me. But you know what? It has my name on it. I want a new beginning. I want to start fresh. I feel called to start fresh. I will trust my intuition. And honestly, I think this is the best risk you'll ever take. Yeah, lover's card is here coming back home to yourself. I don't know where you're moving. I don't know where you're going. You're going somewhere. And with the lover's card, this is you. This is, again, coming back home to yourself, your truest essence, finally getting where you were always supposed to be. And again, it's not connected to anything superficial. Who cares what other people think? This is the best risk you'll ever take in your life. So the lover's card is you. It is also about communication. Very interesting that we have the first sprout of this ace of cups. And now the two of cups becomes the lovers. So much growth. Amazing communication. It's like the way you communicate when it comes to this new beginning yeah, it's creating such a lovely foundation. I saw the page of pentacles wanting to come through and the king came through instead. You've waited for this forever. You've waited such a long time for this to happen, Gemini. You can be proud of yourself. You've been incredibly patient. And again, I told you the ace of pentacles has your name on it. You're here at the heart of this reading holding the pentacles that we're talking about five of swords is here so that to me is a confirmation there's going to be a lot of external noise because you're making big moves what happens when we take risk people project people are very confronted by our courage like why are you risking so much because i'm ready for change because i'm supposed to change because I'm trusting the rhythm, the cycles, the spiral of life with the moon. I don't know if this is going to be good or bad. It's not about the outcome. It's about saying yes to myself and trusting. Five of Swords is when other people plant seed of doubts in your mind. You've been blocked by other people because they were like, why are you wasting your time? Why are you pretending like this is going to work for you so easily? I'm not pretending. I'm making space for hope. I'm believing. It's like when people are telling me that I sugarcoat. And I honestly, I heard that like one time in years and years on YouTube. But still, I remember. And I don't sugarcoat. I make space for the possibilities of good, of change. I believe in the, in the good and the magic of the universe always. But still, we can still be rational. Again, mul believing multiple truths at once is so 
is so amazing. It's such a superpower of yours. And it's something that I, I heard recently about the Gemini Collective. And it really changed my perspective about you. It really opened up my my vision of Gemini and I have Venus and Gemini. So I've been exploring that and I've been investigating that for myself, how there's so much that can change. It's part of being intelligent and intelligent being to change our mind about things. In French, we say, well, in Quebecois, we say, il y a juste les fous qui changent pas d'idée. <laughs> If uh, you understood what that meant, I'm sending a big hug, but it's like only the crazy people are, are not going to change their minds. I don't really know exactly how to say this in English. That was like a full on Quebecois accent. Um, you're supposed to change. And people are not happy that you're changing, Gemini. People got used to you. They got used to having you around. They got used to keeping you close. And now they feel you. They feel you leaving because you're getting closer to the sun. You're getting closer to your true purpose. This is the truest version of yourself that's coming up to the surface. Again, when we move through world energy, we're never looking back because we tapped into the true essence. The sun card, this is exactly what it is. It's our truest self. It's no coincidence that there's a little kiddo here on this card. There's, it's the inner child. Who did you always want it to be? What was this calling that you always had? I feel like for a lot of you, it's getting closer to nature. Wanting the, the simpler things in life. The very simple um, routines and stuff. There's something about getting closer to nature. getting Coming back home to yourself. Look at this row here. We have all naked folks. All the, you know... It's not about how it looks or how other people feel about it. Who cares? And I think it took a very long time for you to detach from this because a lot of people needed you. The King of Pentacles is at the heart of this reading. You've been of service for a long time. I don't know if you have a clientele or if you have a very solid group of friends somewhere, group of friends or if there was like a long-term relationship that you've been investing in, there's something that here says, okay, you've been of service. It's always going to be a part of you. And I think there's a little bit of fear here of detaching. For example, if it's about clientele, trust me, I know. I was a hairstylist for 13 years of my life, more than a third of my life. And when tarot became you know, a full-time job and I had to say goodbye to 13 years of clients. I'm talking people that I was seeing every month for 13 years, people that I know more than my own family. It was such a grieving process, like a spiral. I felt like I was letting down everyone. Same for a long-term relationship and you feel like you have outgrown a, a friendship or a job, a city, a town. I bought my house almost three years ago now, and I still experience grief when it comes to Montreal. You know, I was born in the city. I was always in Montreal my whole life. And now I, I'm just very close to nature. It's like this completely different life. And grief creeps up once in a while but it doesn't change that I know I made the right decision for me. But the, the noise is very loud. So I'm sharing my own experience, Gemini, because I feel comfortable with you. And also because I think it's an amazing way to have people relate. You're not alone. And sometimes we grieve. Sometimes we feel like we're in the Five of Swords energy, even if we're experiencing the best 
thing of our life, literally. We're like, why am I feeling so much pain and grief right now? This is what I wanted. Because, because we grieve cycles, we grieve cities and relationship. Grief is not just about losing someone in the physical world. It's connected to all the graduations and all the world card energy. We have the Seven of Wands and the Temperance card here. I love this. You know, Seven of Wands can be connected to anger. And anger is the only emotion that humans have to release. Anything else will kind of naturally be released in very easy ways but anger it has to be a practice that's the thing here temperance is a practice it's when we constantly do something we become a master at it it's not about not making mistakes sometimes you're gonna be pissed and you're gonna say something that you regret like instantly regretting something or an action or a decision it's part of this process it's part of finding some type of balance. Temperance card, it takes a lot of practice to become a master in that way. This is the alchemist of the tarot, and this is also a very, very lucky card. Probably one of the luckiest cards in the tarot because it's connected to Jupiter and Sagittarius. Things are moving incredibly fast for you, Gemini. And it's going to be overwhelming. It's going to be overwhelming even if this, again, Ace of Pentacles has your name on it. Even if at the end of the day, you know this is one of the best, most important blessings of your life. It's still scary and it's still hard to manage. There's a lot of things that you're going to have to manage. A lot of things you're going to have to check off your list. A lot of people that are not going to be happy, that are going to be asking questions. You don't owe them an excuse. You don't owe them an explanation. But you will still be of service and explain yourself to the people that matters to you. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. This... Move. I'm going to be, and I'm using the word move. Take it how it resonates. I trust that you can apply the messages uh, to yourself. Oh my God. I didn't see the magician, but he's here. This move is healing your lineage also. It's connected to your ancestors. It's like there's someone in your lineage. I say... I think it's it's a guide, an angel, someone that you pray to or that you miss, the beloved dead, um, someone who passed away. And I'm getting emotional because it feels like this move, quote unquote, is honoring this person's wish. You're coming back home to yourself. You're coming back to your roots, Gemini. And I feel like for a while there were so many things surrounding you that were a little bit more superficial, a little bit more um, connected to the image and the status and the material of things, which is totally okay. There's nothing wrong with that. You've been securing something You've been building some type of strong foundation and now you're ready to honor your lineage. You're ready to heal also your ancestral wounds. There's something here. It's like you could be the first one in many, many generations to accomplish something, to do things your own way. Magician is one of your cards also. It's ruled by Mercury and it's like your own unique way of living life, your own unique way of expressing yourself, of connecting to the earth, connecting to all the elements. That's the thing. Again, I felt like you were getting closer to nature, but whatever it means for you, you're getting closer to the elements. So this is a big, big message for you during cancer season. So the next month, I would say, notice how you're getting closer to the elements. 
getting closer to a body of water, getting closer to earth, the wind, air, fire, the wood, and the just the excitement. There's something connected to the element. And it's, it's at the center of your world. This is a new beginning that is inevitable for Gemini. I want a message from the angel on the temperance card. There's also the angel on the lover's card. And there's also angel wings here. You are protected. You are supposed to say yes to yourself there's also the angel wings here on the world card it's like it's everywhere for you this divine timing what are the angels trying to say oh and we have the devil card here okay so it's not going to be easy this is one step at a time this is like one one step at a time, a la Capricorn. So uh, with the devil card, you know, this is Capricornian energy. We have the king of pentacles coming through again for you. This is going to be a work in process and work in progress. It's going to take a long time for you to get every details checked off your list. And the devil card, I love the devil card. It's such a misunderstood energy. It's like finally you're not living your life backwards. If you pick the devil card in the reverse, devil spelled backwards is lived. So you know that you need to identify what's been holding you back, what's what's been making you living your life backwards, quote unquote. But it, when it's in the upright, we have identified the chains, the old beliefs, I'm supposed to be here. I'm supposed to be with this person. I'm supposed to work in a certain way, serve in a certain way. No, it's all BS. You found your own unique way of moving through life. And now it's becoming this blueprint for you. It's just this new way of living, this new way of experiencing life. It's like you're about to experience life completely differently. Oh, wow. I'm hearing through the lens of Gemini. I love this. Oh, my goodness. I need to write this down. I need to write this down so I don't forget. Through the lens of Gemini, you will be experiencing this new beginning through the lens of Gemini in your own unique way. Okay, let's pick some oracle cards. Hold your vision. <laughs> Hold your vision. That's it. People are not going to understand. I think you're going to hear things like, this is so not you, Gemini. This is so not you. Yeah, well, I'm supposed to change. It wasn't me 10 years ago. It's me now. It might not be me tomorrow. Who cares? Hold your vision. Protect yourself from the seeds of doubt that people are trying to plant in your mind. They're projecting. I'm going to be honest. I feel like there's a lot of jealousy. Anytime we make big moves, there's always someone who's jealous because they don't have the courage yet. It's their own thing. Confidence is your key to success. That's the thing. Say yes to yourself. Trust this. Everything is aligned right now. Everything is aligned for you to get to this new journey, to get somewhere new. The Ace of Pentacles is rolling out the red carpet for you. And again, it has your freaking name on it. Don't you dare ignore this calling. Don't you dare listen to the people who are jealous, the people who benefited from having you around, whoever you've been of service to, enough is enough. Enough is enough. It's time for you to move on. And I don't know exactly in what way, but again, it's like very connected to a move in a way, um, a big move. So Gemini, I'm sending love. 
I cannot wait to read for you next week. Thank you so much for being here with me. Um, you're amazing. You're amazing and I have no words right now because this reading feels like a gift. And I know that someone is going to get like the little extra motivation they needed. It's like, I feel like this message was supposed to reach this one person that I'm very connected with right now. I don't know who you are, but I'm so proud of you. And I mean that. So take care. I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye bye, Gemini.